All right, Matt here with Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a fly that we're going to just call the Ronald McDonald Steelhead Zonker. I don't have a better name for it. Uh, we fished this last week on the coast and did pretty well. Uh, so what I've got here is a TMC size 1-0, 7 dollars uh, steelhead hook, heavy wire. Coated my thread base here and gave it a little shot of Zappa Gap to make it durable. And now I'm going to lay down a little... Uh, 03 lead wire and this fly is going to be heavy so I'm laying this wire like this down the hook shank wrapping it in and then I'm going to wrap over that and just really make it spark pluggy what are you casting this with Matt? I'm casting this with uh, just about anything uh, but mostly with a spay rod that I steal from whoever's in the boat with me uh, Sage, 7 weight Z-axis, uh, 525 Skagit line, uh, that's that's the typical thing. About 12 feet of T14 is what, what I would use. So here we've got this spark plug weighted uh, steelhead hook. We're going to take a little bit of silver flash -aboo. Uh, Pick out some strands that you like. Maybe, I don't know, 8, 10 strands. Rob Russell likes this fly a little less flash. I like it with a little more. Yeah, take your pick. So I'm going to take this flash and I'm going to tie it in about halfway. You know, break it about halfway here and tie it in there and fold it all back. So I've kind of got it tied in so it won't pull out. So wrap a little thread there. So I've got my flash sticking out the back. And from here, I'm going to take my zonker rabbit strip. Now this is from Hairline Dubbin. I just ordered a ton of this because the only fish we caught in three days of swinging flies was on this silly tiger barred pattern. Now this is um, kind of like a sunburst yellow and orange with black stripes. It's just got a lot of gorgeous color and movement in the water. And I'm going to tie this in zonker style. Now that means I'm going to have a little tail out the back and then I want the crest of it to kind of ride across the top of the fly. So I separate out some of this hair and find a good spot where I like the length and wrap in. And you could always cut that short in terms of the tail length. Yeah, you could shorten the tail, you could shorten the front as well, depending on you know your application here. So I'm going to tie a couple of wraps and then pull it tight. I'm using um, Ultra Thread, 140 denier Ultra Thread, and that's pretty stiff thread. So you really want to cinch this down because... Uh, on the fish that we caught last weekend on this, uh, this rabbit strip got beat up pretty bad by the fish. So, um, and I, I'm okay with the idea of, you know, losing a fly to every fish I hook. So if I caught a fish on every fly I tied, I'd be fine. Um, I've got a little flat diamond braid here. Now that's going to form the body of this. It's uh, going to tie in and it's going to overwrap the lead wire. So here's a little diamond braid. Uh, it's not super pretty, it's kind of flaring out there. And then I'm going to come forward. I'm going to take my diamond braid, start wrapping over the lead. And creating kind of just a shiny, fatty, zonker silver body. You know, the traditional zonker would be like a mylar tube over a kind of like minnow shape uh, lead folded over, but we're just going to do it over lead wraps. And as you can see, that looks pretty smooth there. I'll finish it off. Tied it in. Now, take this rabbit strip. There are different ways that you could do this to make this, you know, the most durable durable as possible. I like just taking it out, stripping off a little bit of the excess fuzz here, creating like this little leather tag at the with the rabbit hide out the front. I'm gonna cinch it down as best I can, as tight as I can. And then I'm even going to bring it back because this pulled out on us a lot. This was where the fly broke down when we were fishing it last weekend. Uh, there was this rabbit strip 
kind of crest getting torn out. So I'm going to double back on it and make it reinforce it. Cut off my tag here. The excess rabbit leather. All right, so we've got the basic body of the fly here. And what I'm going to do is tie in a little bit of marabou. It's going to give it some motion and some red color. Uh, I call this the Ronald McDonald because of the yellow and red. Um, it's just a blood quill, fluorescent flame blood quill plume. <clears throat> and I'm going to palmer it over this, over the body. And I take it from the tips and palmer it and sweep the fibers back as we go down the fly. And we're going to do not a lot of wraps, maybe three wraps. And then we are good. We're going to tie this off here. Cut it off. Sweep the fibers back. Make sure they're all going the direction that you like. And wrap it up with your thread. Then the last step is taking a little red schloppen hackle, tying it in from the tip first. Tie it down nice and tight. Don't be afraid to cinch this down over the leather. Get a bunch of wraps. Just bury it in there. Cut off the tip, and then you can do the J style of folding these feathers back with the scissors before you wrap the hackle. There we go. As close as you can get to J style. And then fold them back with your fingers. Start wrapping your collar of red schloppen. And we are just about done. We've taken a few turns with this red schloppen. I'm going to tie off the feather. And then I'm just going to finish it off here by evening out this thread base here with the leather. It's a little bulky in the front because of the way you have to do the rabbit strip to make sure it stays in place. So we whip finish here. And then take out my whip finishing tool. Give it a ride here. And there you have it, what I would call the finished Ronald McDonald Steelhead Zonker. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of Zappa Gap and this is ready to fish in about five minutes. So.